Praise the Lord, church. Uh, this is a beautiful morning, and I trust God that God is with you. Even though we were not able to come and meet here in person, I thank God because the Lord has a word for you that will help you even as you go through what we are going through. In the midst of every storm, in the midst of everything that is happening in the world, I know that the Lord is with you. Today, the Lord has a word about trusting him in the midst of storm. I don't know what you're going through, but I know God has a word for you. Stay tuned, stay blessed as we hear the word of God. second Sunday of this year 2022 and we truly truly thank God for his faithfulness we thank God for what he's doing here at JICC and all over the world 
Right now, we are so grateful because um, of his supernatural protection and his supernatural favor that he has shown upon each and every one of us. For those people who are with us on the crossover service, yes, crossover service was a very powerful service. And we closed over and the Lord spoke to us about closing over uh, when we had uh, the children of Israel closing over Jordan under the leadership of Joshua. And it was in the first Sunday, last Sunday, when the Lord told us that this year 2022 will be the year of establishment. It will be the year of establishment. And I am so grateful to God because as I speak his word right now, he's establishing you in the areas that you've been waiting upon him. I don't know how long you've been waiting upon the Lord. I don't know what areas you've been trusting God for. But as you hear the word of God today, he is establishing you. It could be in your areas of finances. It could be in the area that you've been requiring the favor from God. It could be in the area of your health. It could be so many areas of your life. But the word of God has the power to establish you. And right now, the Lord is speaking to us. I feel the Spirit of God leading us to the uh, book of Mark, Mark chapter number 4. And we are going to see the story that is starting from verse number 35. And to give an account of this story, it is when Jesus was with a multitude and his disciples. And the Bible says that uh, when you start from verse number 35, it says that on the same day, when the evening had come, he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. And I want to somebody to type down there and say, let us cross over to the other side. If you are with your family, with your household, I want you to minister to them and tell them, let us cross over to the other side. And these are powerful words that was spoken by Jesus. He had been doing the work of the ministry. He was tired and the multitude was with him. And he spoke to his disciples and he told them, let us cross over to the other side. And I don't know who I'm speaking to, but maybe 2020 and 2021 was very tough for you. And one thing that you're telling God beyond reasonable doubt, she want to cross over to the other side. And the Lord is telling you that I am going to cross over to the other side with you. That's why Jesus told the disciples, let us cross over to the other side. And I want you to realize that this was an aside, this was a promise that Jesus told the disciples. So when he told them, he told them the beginning of the story, but he did not give them the details. Many are the time that we want God to give us the details. But let me tell you, if the Lord says that he will walk with you, no matter what, he will walk with you. So he told the disciples, let us cross over to the other side. But one thing I want you to know, he never told them the details. He didn't tell them what's going to happen during their journey. He didn't tell them what they're going to encounter. And the Bible says that as soon as they got to the boat, as soon as they got to the boat, the Bible says that Jesus went downstairs on the boat and he took a pillow and he slept. And when he was sleeping, in the midst of Jesus taking a nap and sleeping, there was a storm. And the disciples were afraid. The disciples were scared because the storm looked like it's going to take them down. And the Bible says that disciples went down and they were looking for Jesus and they found him asleep. And maybe when this year started, maybe you are looking at the situation of your life and you feel like Jesus is still sleeping. When you look at the failures, it's all over and you're asking God, how are you going to establish me when there's a failures all over? How are you going to establish me when there's lockdown? How are you going to establish me when there is nothing the government can do for us? When are you going to establish me when the businesses have gone down? And that is exactly the feeling that the disciples had with Jesus at this particular moment. And let me tell you one thing. He told them, let us cross over. He told them that I will cross over with you. In other words, he was telling them, let us go together. 
You don't have to worry about anything because I am with you. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this year, 2022, you don't have to worry about anything because God has said that he will walk with you. He will establish you. You don't have to worry about anything. And now the Bible says that there was external forces, the weather came in. And right now it feel like there's something, there's like external forces of things happening in your life and you're asking God, when is this going to be over? The Lord is with you. One thing I want you to realize, the disciples were in the will of God. Because it was he that told him, let us cross over. So one way that you can be able to conquer the storms of life, you have to be in the will of God. As far as you're in the will of God, you will not be afraid of anything. As far as you're in the will of God, 2022, the Lord will establish you. So the most important thing is for you to be in the will of God. And the disciples knew that they were in the will of God. And let me tell you, the fact that you're in the will of God doesn't mean that the storm will not come in. The disciples were in the will of God, but yet the storm came in. And they went to Jesus, and the Bible says that they were afraid, and that is emotions. When we have storms in life, like the storms of uncertainty, the storms of sickness, the storms of your financial crisis, we feel there's some emotion that comes with it. And the Bible says that the disciples had the emotions. They were afraid. And maybe you are afraid, but the Bible says that, you know, you have to fear not because God told Joshua, fear not. And the Bible says that when every time the, the angel of the Lord came to bring the word, the first thing that he says, fear not. That was the word that comes from the word of God. And this year, the Lord is saying that as you have embarked this journey of 2022, one thing that you have to realize, ladies and gentlemen, fear not. Because the Lord is with you. Hallelujah. Now there was external forces and that was the weather. The storm that was fearing and the storm that already almost took them down. And then there was also the emotional forces, which was fear. And then there was anger because they came to Jesus and the Bible says, I want you to see what they told Jesus. They told him, they told him, I aren't you, you know, aren't you afraid that we are perishing? Don't you care that we are perishing? Don't you care that we are perishing? You know, I'll read for you. The Bible says in verse number 38, but he said in the stand asleep on a pillow, and they woke him in a, on a pillow, and they woke him and said, Jesus, don't you care? that we are perishing. You see, sometimes when we are in trouble, we feel like God does not care. And the disciples were angry. And the disciples came and expressed themselves. They say, don't you care? Father, I know there are people who are saying, God, don't you care? There was lockdown in 2020. There was fires in 2021. And here we are, 2022, don't you care? And Jesus, he was already asleep because he knew that everything was under control. And let me tell you, if the Bible clearly says that Jesus had a pillow, meaning that he had planned to sleep because he knew that everything was under control. Maybe you are worried, maybe you are the one who is anxious in life, but if you are in the will of God, I want to assure you that God has everything under control, ladies and gentlemen. The church of Jesus Christ, God has everything under control. So you have to rest in his will regardless of the storm that is going on outside. So they were afraid and they were angry. They thought that he did not care. They also started blaming each other. 
They came and they blamed him. They said, why are you asleep? And we are barely seen. And that's what happens in life. When there's storms, people start braving each other. They start braving each other. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have time to blame one another. It's time for you to rest in the presence of God and wait upon him. And the Bible says that Jesus woke up and he spoke to the nature. And this is when the natural is overcome by supernatural. We saw it in Jordan. When Joshua stepped into the water. And the Bible says that the water, it was, the, 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 it was a supernatural parting of the water. And now Jesus is here. He spoke to the nature. And there was a supernatural storm that came down. The power in the name of Jesus. He spoke to the nature. He spoke to the storm. And right now, as I am telling you, church, the Lord is busy speaking to the nature. He is busy speaking. The supernatural is busy speaking to the natural. The natural sees that you will die. The natural sees that you will not make it in 2022. The natural sees that things don't look well. But the supernatural, Jesus is speaking to the nature. And Jesus is saying, it shall be well unto them that believe in him. Jesus is saying, come down because I got you. Come down because everything is under my control. I am the bread of life. I am the peace. So you have to trust in me. I don't know what you are going through. But Jesus sometimes has to allow you to be in such a situation so that he can prove himself. It was not until that when Lazarus was dead, that's when Jesus came and he said, I am the resurrection. It was not until Abraham was out of option. When God came and proved himself and said, I am Jehovah child, he provided for him. It is not until when you are sick. That's when the Lord will come and prove himself and call himself Jehovah lover. You are here. God has everything under control. Praise the Lord. And you see the supernatural happen. In the Red Sea. The supernatural happened in Jordan. And supernatural happened a Calvary. And the supernatural happened when Jesus was coming. The storms. Everything is under his control. One thing I want to assure you church. As you go through the storm. The promises of God still remain in the midst of the storm. Of the storm. What is that that God has promised you? What is that that you've been trusting God for? You have to remember that Jesus is the one who told the disciples, let us cross over to the other side. They were in the will of God. He had already spoken that one. I don't know what prophetic word has been spoken over your life. I don't know what the Lord has said over your life. And sometimes in the midst of struggle, in the midst of storms, sometimes we forget the word of God. We forget what he has said about us. But this morning or this evening, the Lord is reminding you that in the midst of everything, he is the one who has spoken. He said that 2022 will be the year of establishment. And he will establish you. Because you are in his will. He will establish me. Because he said it. And now he said let us cross over. One thing that we have to do church this year. Is to trust in him. Because he said it. And he said it and he will do it. He will establish you because he said it. And he is God. And the Bible says. That when Jesus spoke to the storm and he came down, that the disciples, the disciples, verse number 40 says, but he said to them, why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? This year the Lord is asking me and you, 
How is that that we are so fearful? And the Lord connected that with faith, lack of faith. Yes, this year we have to face the storm because Jesus is in it. And the Lord is asking you, why are you so fearful? Why are you fearful of lockdown? Why are you fearful of losing that job? Why are you so fearful of the things that have been going on in your life? Yes, the Lord did not say that we would have a storm. But what he said, that he's going to be with you in the midst of that storm. He was the third man when the three Hebrew boys were in the fire. He was with them in the midst of the fire. He was with Daniel at the den of lion. He promised to be with him. And the Lord is saying that this year 2022, he will be with you in the midst of every storm that you are going through. And our work is to trust in him. Our work is to be with him. Our work is to tell God that God, I left my keys and I stay in your presence no matter what. I want to be in the will of God. I want to be where the presence of God is taking me. I want to be where the worshipers are. I want to be with the brethren. I want to be with the people of faith. I want to hang out with the people that are speaking the language of faith. This is what the Lord is calling us because the Lord is calling you to a higher level. The Lord is elevating you to another level. And the Lord was asking the disciples, why are you guys afraid? Didn't you know that I am there? Didn't you know who I am? And he said that that was lack of faith for them. This morning, the Lord is teaching us the language of faith. And the language of faith is speaking direct to the storms and telling him that the master of the universe is resting in the presence of storms. The master of the universe is with you even when you are going through. You may be sick in your body, but I assure you that the master of the universe is there with you. He is your healer. He's telling you that trust in me and I'm going to heal you. Maybe there's something that did not work out well last year or two years you've been waiting upon the Lord. And the master is saying that I am the one who promised you. And I'm not a son of man that I should lie. I am God, just trust in me. Let us trust in the Lord and he will fulfill the desires of our heart. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we worship you and we bless your holy name. Because God, you've seen that in the midst of every storm, you will be with us. And Father God, as we embark this journey of 2022, we thank you because God, we know and you have assured us that you're with us in the midst of every storm. And Father God, we take your word and we embrace your word and we walk with your word in the midst of the storm. We thank you, Father Lord, because you will establish us. We thank you, Father Lord, because you're making the way for us, even where there seems to be no way. We thank you because of your healing power. We thank you because of your restoration power. We thank you because of the victory that is in Jesus' mighty name. We give you glory, we give you honor. We celebrate you and we honor you, for we pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May God bless you. May the Lord establish you this year, 2022. God bless you.
from us receiving, Lord. And we give you all 